Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of What Happened in China, where we explore the culture and the places. Today we visit again Xinjiang because we are close to live in this beautiful city and we will all talk about our experience. Walking through the central area of Xinjiang was the capital and the largest city of Laoming province. It was an exciting experience together with a group of friends. We decided to explore a more common housing district to observe the daily life of the locals. We were excited to get into the true culture and the way of life of this vibrant city. We get up early in the morning to make most of our day of exploring. We back back, back loaded with water and snack, we headed toward the housing district. The bustle of traffic and the lights of the skyscraper contrast with the tranquility of the town. We reached the housing district, a maze of narrow streets and multi-story buildings. The predominant architecture was modern, but there were also some old houses that withstood the test of the time. As we entered, the pace of the life seemed to slow down, and we were able to appreciate the lively life of the people. The streets were lined with small shops and markets where the locals brought fresh products for the day. Children went in the group to school, where adults went to work or gathered in the lively cafe for breakfast. We're surprised with the kindness and hospitality of the people of Shenyang. Although we were foreigners, we were greeted with the smiles and friendly gestures. Some even came up to us where we come from and where if we were enjoying the city. We sat down in a small local park where we struck a conversation with a group of elderly people practice Tai Chi. They invited us to join them, and despite of the clumsy movements, we patiently treated us and tied to some basic moves, a special moment of the connection with the local people. We explored the local markets, where vendors offer a wide variety of fresh products and everyday items, from colorful fruits and vegetables and to clothing and kitchen utensils. The market were busy and live with activity. Traders called our attention by offering their wares and enthusiastic haggling over price. We tried to some exotic fruits that we never seen before, such as a rambutan and lychee. The explosion of flavors in our mouths reminded how diverse Chinese cuisine can be. We call pass out the opportunity to try the delicious local food, the venture into small restaurants and the street food stalls to sample authentic Xinjiang dishes. From the famous Lobian, a pancake with meat and veggies, to the Xiaoxi sandwiches, each bite was an explosion of the flavors that left us wanting more. We seen in a traditional restaurant ordered a variety of dishes. The aroma of the spices filled the air was anxiously awaiting for the arrival of our food. Each dish was a masterpiece of flavor, color, and textures that left us satisfied and with a smile in our faces. The streets of the houses in the district were alive with activity. Children playing heavily in the parks, local chatters and louting on the street corners, and merchants showed their deals in the markets. It was a lovely and colorful setting that reflected the vitality of the community. We stopped at a small square where some local artists were painting portraits and performing in the street performance. The crowd was getting around them, applauding and enjoying the talent and creativity of this is street artist. The streets were lined with a small shop and a store selling a variety of goods, from grocery stores to fashion boutiques. Each store had its own charm and personality. We stopped at some of them to explore and appreciate the local crafts. At a handmade store, we met a local artist who showed us their collection of painting and sculptures. Her works were a mix of traditional and modernity, reflecting the diversity of the city of Shenyang. To get more into the life in the housing district, we decided to visit some local apartments. Some of the residents kindly allowed us to enter to their homes and share their daily experience. It was fascinating to see how they live and how they made their apartment cozy and full of life. A group of young students invited us to their shared apartment. Also, this space was small. It was decorated with taste and personality. They told us about their academic life and their limits for the future. It was a sample of how the young of 
people of Indian fight for the goals and aspiring. The housing district also featured parks and open space where locals got ready to relax and enjoy the outdoors. We joined a group of people practicing Tai Chi and enjoying the serenity and tranquility of the surroundings. Walking the shared paths, we saw people of all days doing morning exercise enjoying the fresh air. The parks were a refuge for this seeking a moment of peace and connection with the nature in the midst of this bustling city. One of the things that showed out the us the most strong sense of community in the housing district, the neighborhoods knew each other and shared a close relationship. There were a sense of camaraderie and mutual support that even evidence in every turn. We joined a group of neighborhoods who were regularly to meet play cards in the nearby park. They invited us to join the game, but we don't know nothing about it and just prefer to say we can look around and enjoy their moment. Despite there being a common resident in the district, we also find a sign of change and developing a modernity. Buildings and well-maintained infrastructure show the city growing influence on China economy and culture. In the center of this residential district, we find a multi-story shopping center full of fashion stores, international restaurants, and movie theaters. The city young flock in there to enjoy the latest trends and entertainment. Public transportation in the housing district was efficient and well organized. We ventured out to take local bus and metro to explore other areas of the city. It was an interesting experience and allowed us to see how the locals go around in their daily lives. We were impressed with the punctuality and cleanliness of the transport system. The subway trains were well maintained and the stations were well marked. It was easy to navigate the city to get to the next destination. The regional district also several schools and education centers. We are able to see children and adolescents going to school, which highlight the importance to give the education in the community. It was encouraging to see the community of the parents and teachers to the future of their children. As the sun set and the day drew to a close, we say goodbye to this house's district. It was a wonderful and gratitude experience. We had the chance to chance to immerse ourselves in this authentic life of Shenyang and get to know how the people culture on the deeper level. We sat in the small outdoor cafe to enjoy one last hot tea while we watching the sunset. We remember the special moment that we have experienced during the day and we share our impression and reflection. My experience walking through the central area of Shenyang for coming house district left a lasting impression to me. It taught me a warm memories of the hospitality of the local, the diversity of the culture and the vitality of the community. It was an experience that I never forget and I promise to come back again to the city of Shenyang in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this unique experience. See you soon in the next video where we'll continue to explore the wonderful of these small and big cities around China. Goodbye and keep exploring.